It was not the speech Hillary Clinton had hoped to deliver after a long and hard-fought election campaign. This is not the outcome we wanted or we worked so hard for, and I'm sorry that we did not win this election for the values we share and the vision we hold for our country. Clinton appeared somber as she addressed supporters after the votes were tallied. On Tuesday, New York's typically loud and bustling Times Square was virtually silent as people stared in awe at the election results. Do all the good you can. At a Clinton election night headquarters, there were open displays of tears when it became clear their candidate had lost the White House. The most devastating thing I have to say is just like seeing there were thousands of people here tonight. We couldn't even get in at first. And then to, just to watch person after person give up and go home. The morning after, Clinton's running mate pointed out, while Clinton didn't win the election, she still made history. She became the first major party nominee as a woman to be president and last night won the popular vote of Americans to be president. That is an amazing accomplishment. But Clinton fell short of achieving her goal of becoming America's first female president. Still, she encouraged the next generation of women to not give up on their own dreams. We have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. And because of Clinton's historic run for America's highest office, that goal is now more achievable, in part because of the path forged forward by Hillary Clinton. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, New York.